Righteous orbs no longer can, can be farmed. Yeah, you can no longer farm righteous orbs in uh, Season of Discovery. So if you don't know, you could go into uh, a place called Eastern uh, Plaguelands and you could farm what's called a Crimson Courier. I think it had like a three or four minute respawn timer. It's a level 60 elite with four with with four like guards. And people were farming it because it has a 2% drop chance for to get a righteous orb, which is used for... Uh, a um, crusader enchant obviously so people were spending literally all day farming this i don't know if they think i don't know if i think they should have removed it man i i found it honestly personally for me i found it kind of funny that people were spending so much time on that yeah it wasn't really an exploit people just figured out that they could farm a two percent drop rate from an elite in eastern plague lands and they just decided to, to dedicate all their life to it right also by the way <laughs> Another thing tied to this as well, Bliss, uh, uh, Warcraft logs has made any log with Crusader Enchant basically not a thing. So if you were to have farmed the Crusader Enchant and you're doing it to log your raids and parse, Warcraft logs has now banned the logs with Crusader Enchants in them. So all the people that were probably farming this were players that was farming it to log. And now the people that did manage to get the Crusader Enchant will have their logs banned. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that happened. I don't know. I don't think they should have, I don't think they should have, like, made him not drop. I found it kind of funny. Was I ever gonna do this? I mean, honestly, maybe it would be fun to do with stream. Maybe, like, get a bunch of people from the stream, like, one or two hours, see if we can farm some. But I was never gonna actually farm Righteous Orbs. That's insane. But for the people that wanted to do it, I mean, that's fair enough, right? But... Yeah, so that's the thing. Also, another thing for Season of Discovery. Um, the Serpent Striker has been changed. So you can now go to the vendor in the um, STV. On the top left-hand corner, there's a little island with all the trolls on it. And you can go to that troll and you can turn a 0.5 speed offhand into a 2.6 speed offhand as well, which means that it'll now be extremely biz for Enhancement Shamans, because slower weapons are better for Enhancement Shamans, and probably even for Warriors as well. So yeah, instead of having a Serpent Striker that's 1.5 speed, you will now have one that's 2.6 speed. So you can go, you can get the item, you can go to the island, and you can change it for an offhand. So Hunters are eating good, so are melee Hunters and Warriors as well. Yeah, this, 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 like, fist weapon set went from being kinda okay to extremely strong, like, gigabis, basically. So, a lot of things happened, uh, like, kinda overnight, uh, with all that stuff. I was gonna afraid shamans, uh, shamans weren't powerful enough. Is that good for mutilate? No, because you can't mutilate with a fist weapon, you need the daggers to mutilate. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Lots of stuff happening, man. Lots of stuff happening. With the hotfix that went live for all realms early today, righteous orbs no longer drop. Yeah, we just talked about that. L literally two minutes ago. Yeah, we went over that stuff. That That's all the new stuff for, uh, for Cease the Discovery here.